On February 18, 1991, Maryland Governor William Donald Schaefer signed into law Senate Bill 162, an abortion bill that went far beyond Roe v. Wade. Pro-lifers mounted an all-out effort to repeal the law by referendum, but the referendum failed, leaving Maryland with one of the most extreme abortion laws in the United States. Maryland's abortion law is recognized as one of the most permissive in the country by NARAL Pro-Choice America. Since 1992, Maryland law has permitted abortion on demand even late in pregnancy, protected abortionists from legal action, allowed abortionists to perform abortions on minors without notifying a parent, and left healthcare workers who refused to make abortion referrals as a matter of conscience vulnerable to civil liability and to disciplinary action. So what are some of Maryland's pro-life accomplishments? The Safe Haven Act. Under this law, a mother or someone who has the mother's permission may leave a child up to three days old at a hospital or state or local police department with no questions asked. The mother is immune from prosecution as long as the child is unharmed within a reasonable degree of medical certainty. This law allows a mother who cannot care for her infant to place the child in a safe environment while protecting her anonymity. The Unborn Victims of Violence Act. Since 2005, Anyone causing the death of a viable fetus may be prosecuted for murder or manslaughter if there was intent to kill or to cause serious physical injury to the fetus. The law exempts the pregnant woman herself from liability and explicitly states, nothing in this section shall be construed to confer personhood or any rights on the fetus. Nonetheless, the state of Maryland now recognizes the existence of a human being in the womb, at least after the point of viability. Maryland Right to Life is the Maryland affiliate of the National Right to Life Committee, the country's largest and most effective pro-life organization. Maryland Right to Life has a threefold mission. First and foremost, we work in the legislative arena to attain legal protection for all innocent human life. During each General Assembly, we monitor all legislation and take a position either for or against any proposed bill that may impact the right to life. In addition, we work with pro-life legislators to propose bills to protect unborn children and their mothers, as well as other vulnerable members of the human family. Secondly, Maryland Right to Life Foundation works to educate the general public about life issues. We present detailed, factual information to various audiences in order to enable people to make truly informed decisions about such issues as abortion, euthanasia, infanticide, human cloning, and embryonic stem cell research. Finally, the Maryland Right to Life state and federal political action committees promote the election of public servants who respect all human life. The right to life is not based on some philosophical definition of personhood. It is a fundamental human right of all human beings. As Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Independence, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life. Maryland Right to Life exists only through the generosity of its members and supporters. Unlike the purveyors of the culture of death, we receive no government funds or corporate grants. Your gift to Maryland Right to Life is an investment in life. We are working to make abortion and the culture of death unthinkable, but we can't do it alone. Please stand with us by supporting this vital work.